All right, well, this is the second part of the tutorial where we're going to actually get down here and use these brushes to create pretty cool um, looking displacement on the model. Um, this is my base head. I'm at active level zero here. So I'm going to go in and subdivide it a couple times, get us up to, um, normally I would want to work up at a level three or four, but because the screen capture is slowing down my work, we're just going to go to level three. And of course, you would want to work up the volumes and everything through each level before you just start subdividing like crazy. But I'm at an active level three, and I can step up or down, you know, with the page up or page down, and go down to a level and rework in main shapes. Um, I'm going to go back up to level three. I just paged back up to it and uh, show you what these brushes here do. Now the soft and soft B and scratch brushes, to me, they all seem to do the same thing. Um, smooth smooths out the mesh. Pinch, we'll pull it together and pinch it like if we wanted to pinch the corners of the mount or pinch the edge of the nostril to the head on this model. Bulge, just we'll bulge it out. Flatten, we'll just flatten out the mesh and bumps along the surface normals. Um, the stamp brush is really cool. Um, down here on the right you have fall off, stamp, and stencil tabs. And uh, we talked about the fall off ones earlier. We're going to talk about the stamp tab. I can just go to my soft brush um, and select a stamp in here. And basically just start painting, you know, these scales that are on the stamp all over the mesh. Um, that's not the way that I like to do it, but you can, you can do it that way. I prefer to actually use the stamp brush here and then select my stamp and you can do the old this really good placement where it actually moves your mask along the normals of the surface and just kind of place it place it subtly like that small ones large ones it's real intuitive um, so you can add some scales that way and go through and use all your different stamps and experiment um, up here in our layers is our base surface if we want to adjust the effects we're painting on it, we can go layers, new layer, double click on it, and I'll just call it cheek scales. And then I can go in and we'll, um, well, I just call it cheek scales and I'm putting on the forehead, but put them on the cheeks like such. And if they're too intense and I want to tone it down or tweak it, I have it on its own layer now. So I can just go to the transparency slider, pull it down, and we'll get a way more subtle effect on that. So that's a really cool way to lay down stuff like that. I can go back and bump it up for a more intense effect. Um, full intensity, if you want. So I'm done with my stamp. I'm going to click off. I'm going to go over to my stencil tab. And stencils are just like stamps, grayscale images. I'll pick like an elephant skin one. Um, we don't want to be on the stamp brush when we're using the stencil, so we're going to go back to our soft or scratch, whichever one you like. And we've turned our stamp off by clicking the off. And we're going over to our stencil, and we've selected the elephant skin. And basically, I'll just hold down the mouse, and we'll start painting this elephant skin on it. And there you have it. It's that easy. You can zoom in and do it small. You want to hit Q to hide it, Q to reveal it, Q to hide it. And you don't want to paint off the edges either of it. If I paint off the edge of it, you're going to get a hard line where it will no longer paint beyond the edge of that alpha. And of course, I put this scaly stuff on the same as the cheek scales, so when I go to adjust the opacity, it's on that same layer, so we would have wanted to put that on a different layer. Um, but basically, that's how you can add some really cool detailed sculpting in there um, on the geometry.